a fungangia. That's good morning and fun. Not the best look for me right now, because I'm gonna freaking kill that rooster outside. This is village living. It started at like 4.30. He goes and goes and goes, and he wakes everybody up. I'm gonna freaking kill him. Okay, there he is, that little old one. Let's see if I can get the can through the flap. He's down there, do you see him? Okay, we're gonna go visit my friend in the adjacent village. This is my walk down the road. That's a cute woman in front of me carrying water on her head down the street, but it keeps sloshing, so she has to keep stopping. It's cute. <laughs> and if I had to put water on my head, I'd end up with no water at the end of my journey. Bonjour. How are you? Ça va? Parti pour le colway. Bon travail. <laughs> So my friend Hannah has a little convenience store here in the village and a bouvette, which is where you can actually come and get a cold beer, which is right there in that blue hut. There's no electricity in this village, but she has a generator and you can actually have cold beer here. But I think she's gotten out this drink for us. She's not making her donuts this morning, but she's got this coffee flavored soda and they drink it here and it is the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my whole life. But you drink it because it's polite and she has graciously given me some. And so let's have some coffee soda for breakfast instead of Starbucks. Okay. Le cinéma. Le cinéma. Le cinéma, oui, regarde. Bonjour. Ah. <laughs> bon. Merci beaucoup. Okay. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> It's so disgusting. You have no idea what it's like to drink coffee flavored soda in the morning. It's so gross. <laughs> okay, I'm making my way back to the health center because the hairstylist just drove by on a moto and I'm getting my hair done today, ladies. This is going to be exciting. Here, I buy purple hair and they put them in. They like weave some into my hair. I wish it wasn't so hot here because then I would just like run down this road back to the health center. But if I do that, I'd be a sweaty Betty. And I'm already a hot mess this morning because I didn't wash my hair. Because when she does your hair, she puts Vaseline in it. Ooh. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien. Bon. Oui. Ça va. Ça va bien. Merci. she just said holy crap look what I just found that's a big old termite hill that's nasty it's like safari in the village here <laughs> this is absolutely amazing though it's the tiniest little braid I've ever seen I'm speaking very fast English so you probably can't understand me do not compre parce que je parle anglais c'est muy rapide this is my coiffeur bonjour Dis bonjour. <laughs> She's the best coiffeur in toute la Benin. She's the best. I'm the first person she's ever done Yovo hair, ever, last year when I was here. So I waited to come back to the village to get my hair done. Look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, purple hair. You can't tell, it probably looks black, but in the sun, it's purple. And it's even called Darling Superstar Hair. So, Darling Superstar, I mean, come on, that's gotta be good hair, right? Plus, look at this. 
if I put it in hot water, it'll curl like that, is what they say. I don't have access to hot water showers here, so that's not gonna happen. I told her that we won't be using the Vaseline today. I said, probably not a good idea in my hair because the Yuval hair is no good for the Yuval hair. <laughs> she grabs a weft, and that's what goes in my hair. I've actually never seen exactly what she does because I can't see from this angle, so this is actually good. I'll be able to see what she's doing. I just know it's magical, whatever she does. I come in with blonde hair, I leave with purple hair. Look who's here! Bon arrivé, Tatiana! <laughs> okay, so Nadesh has moved to the other side of my head now. You like? You see my new purple hair? Now she's on the left side. <laughs> you guys want to see who your camera lady is right now? <laughs> my little friend. No, no, no. Fifa me. Good up, Ada. Good up, Ada. Fifa me. Oh, and Orlando. Who is Orlando? Orlando. Ah, there he is. Orlando is the little boy on my business cards. You say, Afangajia? Uh. You're not talking. Action. Tuko, ah, tuko neo o na music o danse. Abandudu. I'm getting fancy up in the village. And this hairdo cost me a total of $6 for the hair and the hairstyle. And that's with tip. Everybody should come get their hair done here. What do you guys think? My new hair. Best hairstylist in all of Benin. And I found her in a really, truly the middle of nowhere. Hey, this is the fun. All the kids in the villages I absolutely, absolutely love. Here they come. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. wah, wah. I'm like, I'm like the Pied Piper of children sometimes. I love it. Mama Michelin said, Do. A domino. A domino. Wait, wait. Bien. And now they all want to see themselves. Okay, come here. Wah, 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 wah. You see. Okay. Okay. A day away. Attend. <laughs> the boys, I swear, they just love to be on camera. You guys want a quick tour of the clinic? It's so awesome. The clinic is awesome. This is maternity. That's what we painted some of our projects last year. We had um, a couple people volunteer and they came over and painted. So we kind of spruced the place up a bit. Okay. So we have maternity and we have the no patients. Yeah. But this is the consultation room and uh, build a better banana. We did the painting there. Consultation room where the midwife sits with the patients. This is the labor and delivery room. So that's where the mommies have their babies. That's where we weigh the babies. Look at how we weigh our babies after they're born. They go in this pouch. Literally, there's like two holes in the bottom. And then we weigh here. And this is all the midwife stuff. There's another paintings that we did. And this is postpartum. So the mommies stay here with the babies for a couple of days. And some of our painting on the wall there. So they hang out here for a couple of days to get their education. And then they go. I will bet you one million dollars the kids are waiting for me outside. Yep. My name is Sarah. What is your name? 
This little girl right here is the only girl that plays with all these boys. These boys. Every time. For years I've been coming here. And she's always asking me for my flip flops, my nail polish, my jewelry. Anything. She's always asking me for something. And I love her. I love you. 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 Uh-uh. Go. Go. Oh. See you play. They aren't allowed in here. This is one of the murals we did last year. Consultation room. I don't think there's anybody in here. Let's see. Go, go, go. No. Consultation room where people come and sit with the nurse and have their exams done. That's one of our murals as well right there. Oh my god. Do you see that bug? Oh god. It's like the size of a bird. Injection room where we do IVs. And as you guessed it, injections like vaccinations. This is hospitalization where patients can stay overnight if they need fluids or so forth. So we have three beds. There's a couple of um, paintings that we did and some of the education posters and boards that we made. Different food groups for protection, for nutrition, for the washing your body and things we shouldn't do. These are teaching points that we go over with the patient. And here's pansma, which is for dressing changes and um, wound care, anything wound related. And there's some of the painting we did last year too. Anything wound related, which I thought was a little funny that we had a whole room dedicated to it at first last year, but there's a lot of wounds that happen here because it's so, it's dirty and people don't bathe regularly. They get a lot of wounds and one little scrape can turn totally infected. So this is actually a very popular room, unfortunately. And then you can go up the stairs to the roof of the clinic and get a great view of the village. Wait till you see the view up here. Oh my gosh, I almost fell. Look at the village. It's so beautiful. It's just green. Oh look, there's somebody's hut out there. A little tiny hut absolutely beautiful from up here. Greenery. Hey, I told you guys to stay downstairs. Get downstairs. Get, 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 get. <laughs> okay, this is the, it's a casa, yeah? No. No? What is it? Abla. Abla? Uh -huh. Abla. This is, what they wrap, um, it's wrapped in leaves. Okay, let's see what it is. Oh, it's, oh, Arico. what, Arico, huh? oh. is it new? I haven't Easy. seen. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It has like a little pima in it, like a little pima. Oh, man, see. Okay, here we go. It's beans. Arico, what? Mm -hmm. oh. It's farin. Farin the mice. Yes, so corn, it's corn flour and beans mixed together in a, like a paste, yeah. boiled, put in leaves, wrapped up, and then it like congeals. And you eat it with your hands and it's really good. I like it. It was so good with a little bit of the pima, I bought one for myself. So this is how it comes. Like this. And then you unwrap it like a Christmas present. Oh, it's hot. Then you eat it with your hands. Ganji, <laughs> ganji. Good, good. So I just did my second application for the second night in a row. You guessed it. Katie's medicine. Oh, it smells like acid. And it hurts like acid too. So it must be working. 
But then I went and loved on all those kids today in the village, so who knows? Who knows if it's gonna work or not? But I'm going to bed now. Because tomorrow I am taking you to Boycon to scout out a new project for BABB with the orphans in a village near Boycon, which is north of us right now. So scouting a new project, so I want you to come along with me. And uh, other than that, bonne nuit.